Hello, friends. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Our text is Daniel 10.10, a hand touched me, which set me on my knees, put him to his knees, put him in, put him to prayer. Daniel made it clear he didn't get his understanding of God's word by studying under the learned men of his age. He didn't gain his knowledge of future events from Babylon's institutions. Nobody could teach him how to interpret dreams that were supernaturally given. Daniel declared in 9 and 21 and 22, Indeed, while I was speaking in prayer, the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. He informed me and talked with me and said, Daniel, I have now come to give you insight and understanding. Simply put, Daniel's prayers brought forth a word from God's throne. That's the kind of praying we need today, folks. I hope that's the kind of prayer God's moving on your heart to pray. Uh, verses uh, 12 and 14 of, of Daniel 9, it said, Then he said to me, Do not be afraid, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand this and to humble yourself before God, your words were heard, and I have come because of your words. In verse 14, now I've come to make you understand what shall befall your people in the latter days, for the vision is yet for many days. What kind of prayer was this that prompted such a visitation? Well, earlier in chapter 10, we learned he spent three weeks in utter brokenness. Daniel had spent 21 days humbling himself, mourning on his knees, chastening his flesh, setting his heart to receive divine understanding. He didn't time his prayer sessions by a clock. He was, he was making a declaration of war. Lord, I won't leave your presence until I discern what you're doing. I don't care what cost I have to pay. I know this is spiritual warfare and I'm going to pay the price because I'm in God's army. That's the kind of supplication, prayer, intercession we need in our day. Is God calling you to reach out and touch him so he can touch you with a mighty revelation of his end time purposes? Oh, Lord, touch us with the grace to seek your face in this time of distress. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed, my friends, through Jesus Christ. Let it be so.